The government in 74, the military government, announced that it wanted to have a so-called distinction or decompression. But they wanted this to happen very gradually and slowly and securely, and they reached out to the opposition. And so there was a sort of a planned transition from above, but there was also a lot of pressure from below. So there was an amnesty movement that said, we, we want the political prisoners to be released from prison. We want the, we want the exiles to come home. Um, there was an active trade union movement in the late 70s. And the trade union movement was actually very pragmatic. What they had found out was that the estimates of inflation that the government was using to readjust salaries was wrong, that it underestimated inflation. And this triggered a big movement in 1978 of trade unionists to strike, even though strikes were essentially illegal at that time. So it was a combination of people um, motivated by uh, a desire to see human rights restored, uh, church activists, trade unionists, uh, middle class, a lot of students. And it became, by the end, a very big, very broad movement. So the peak of it was 1984 when people were saying, uh, we want to vote for, for president. Direct elections now. And even though that movement failed, they didn't get direct elections in 85, that was really a signal, I think, to the regime that they had to negotiate their way out at that point.